I present to you your queen, Queen Buttercup. Rubbish, filth, slime, muck, boo, boo. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny, a show of priorities yesterday in the state of New York where four living presidents, there are only five living presidents actually in America, but four of them were in the same state. And what exactly were they doing? Well, one president was visiting the family of a slain police officer who was slaughtered because of Democrat policies. And the others were partying with Lizzo as they tried to avoid slipping on the uh, little teeny boy stairs of Air Force One. That, I mean, that that's, sound, it sounds like a, it sounds like a Babylon B tweet, but it's actually real. Check this out. This is what Joe Biden was doing. Joe Biden was with Lizzo, Stephen Colbert, and Queen Latifah. Oh, wow. Hosting a very fancy fundraiser uh, where he made millions of dollars, right? Took from the people of New York. Uh, Donald Trump was giving to the people of New York. Donald Trump was at the wake of the slain NYPD cop, Jonathan Diller, who was killed by a career criminal. It was a uh, heartfelt and beautiful thing to do. It was giving of Donald Trump to do this. And he was the only politician invited to attend. They, they banned, the, the cops banned every other politician from attending. So if Joe Biden and Bill Clinton and uh, uh, Obama had even tried to go, the cops wouldn't have let them. Isn't that amazing, ladies and gentlemen? So uh, this is the, this is the, you know, choose choose your way, Western man, right? <laughs> you know, you want, hey, here we go. This, obviously, versus this, versus a man who is standing with law enforcement and comforting, grieving families. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we're grieving because uh, we actually had to watch the clips of Lizzo from last night performing and, uh, well, broke our eyes and, and our brains. Chaos says protesters. Paying up to $500,000 a ticket, heckle Biden, scream them out of Radio City Hall. Demonstrators yelled, you are out of your effing minds on Russia, Palestine, blood on their hands. That's right. Look at these evil old bastards. Okay, so first off, let's start with what it looked like outside of the event. Oh, that looks fun. Look at all these people. Oh, wow. Frankenstein's monster. Look what these, look what they've created. Truly unbelievable. So they were protested outside by throngs. It's it's not an exaggeration to say that there are probably uh, a thousand times more people outside protesting Joe Biden and Bill Clinton and Barack Obama than there were inside supporting them. Listen to this. <laughs> Genocide Joe has got to go. Ladies and gentlemen, they weren't just uh they weren't just outside, they were inside of the hall. The protesters screamed at Joe Biden and Barack Obama from the stage. Listen to this. Inside of Palestine, and no amount of full concern that you do will change the brilliance that you are doing. You get blood on your hands. Ooh, baby. Oh, man. What Fox News hands? covering the, uh, the happy reception that these men got in the bluest part of America. The protesters. Not a single MAGA hat in sight. These are angry Democrats, furious with the Biden administration, angry at his foreign policy. Just another example of Biden's base collapsing. But inside, where it's warm, dry, and safe, this isn't your typical fundraiser. It's a heist. Tickets go as high as half a million dollars. If you want a picture with Barack, Bubba, and Biden, eh, that'll be a hundred grand. The Biden campaign already announcing it's the biggest political fundraiser in American history. 25 million in one night. Although Trump made three and a half billion dollars yesterday. So good effort. <laughs> OK, so uh, what Jesse Waters there is saying is, is true. There was a sold out event. The event is sold out. OK, so this is the official page. This event was sold out. These tickets apparently got sold out and they apparently made a bunch of money. Well, what, what were the people inside treated to? So we've been able to see what the people outside were doing. Inside, what were what did what did they get, ladies and gentlemen? Oh yeah. They got themselves some Lizzo. Now, a reminder that Bill Clinton isn't just the only person who has 
massive history of sexual harassment and dark sexual depravity allegations against them. Lizzo actually is one of those people as well. Although I would say that probably the greatest offense is having to watch and listen to Lizzo. Uh, it is certainly something that I, I wish I didn't have to do professionally. Radio City Music Hall! I heard it, so now you we have to hear it. I'm so sorry. Oh my. Weird. Where is uh, Lizzo's backup dancers? Oh yeah, they're suing her. Ass. Suing her big fanny, for lack of a better term. Former Lizzo dancers were weight shamed and pressured while at strip club. Lawsuit says. Oh no. Three former dancers have filed a lawsuit against Lizzo, accusing her of sexual harassment and creating a hostile work environment. Oh no. Uh, sexual harassment, hostile work environment. They also alleged that they pressured him to touch nude performers at an Amsterdam club, subjected the group to excruciating audition after leveling false ac accusations that they were drinking on the job and weight shaming them. Oh no. Uh, the dancer Lizzo, a performer known for celebrating her positivity and physique, uh, uh calling the attention to one of the uh, dancers weight gain and later berating, then firing the dancer after she after she recorded a meeting because of her health condition. Oh, okay. So I guess you can do anything if you're a Democrat. Do you imagine if Donald Trump appeared on stage with, with, a, with a performer like this? Yeah, yeah, don't think so. Uh, okay, so now time for the main event. And this is the... <laughs> The main event in, in what looks like the nursing home, all right? What's, what looks like the main event during activity hour in hospice. Uh, Biden's handlers will literally make the entire stage a gigantic chairlift before trusting him to find his way on a stage or off a stage without tripping into a wall. <laughs> this is from Danny D'Urbina, uh, a producer on our show. You totally follow him. Uh, listen, guys, this is such a pathetic and cringeworthy entrance. You got to see it for yourself. Uh, the, they, they come up from the stage. They have like a, a, a remote, you know, movable stage. And these guys like rise up from the stage, like they're pop stars or something. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Remember that? <laughs> not, it's not working. Seriously. There's a, like a, there's like a photo of Joe Biden with pop star with Lady Gaga. It looks like a visiting angels ad. Bill Clinton probably knows some pop stars from Epstein Island. Obama, the real president in his third term right now, in his unconstitutional third term. Like, why the why the F do I have to do this? I want to go back to Martha's Vineyard so I can deport some more migrants. Uh, yeah, didn't look great. You know, the other thing is we were able to contrast that with what it looked like when Donald Trump enters a stage. And um, I don't know. You decide. Which one do you like better? Which, which one do you like? With Joe Biden, like, trying to figure out where he's going to sit and what's happening? Clearly, like, these old, cretinous, predator, dementia-riddled old bastards. Or this, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, baby. You know, you know, the, you know the vibe. Here we go. Oh, yeah. It's Donald Trump coming out to the rising. There you go. The rising podium. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what we're about. So, obviously, they were screamed off stage during the event. Steve, I noticed that Stephen Colbert in this photo of the event, like, no, what man sits like this? Like, again, you have, you must have no balls. Like, to sit like that, you must, you must literally have no balls. How can you sit like that? How do you sit like this? What is this? What self-respecting man sits like this? I don't know. The entire event was extremely estrogen laced and soy laced. Enjoy Trump because we're never voting Biden, a pro-Palestinian protester says to Biden supporters leaving the event. Yeah, the Biden supporters leaving the event were uh, hounded by the pro-Palestinian protesters screaming genocide Joe. The... Uh, little Gen Z simps that are paid by the DNC to go to events like this. 
and like squee tweet about it because they have no actual authentic grassroots influencers. They have nobody who actually really cares. They have to pay for all their influence. I'm at a fundraiser with President Biden, blah, blah. I'm blown away by these men. So intelligent, so passionate, so involved. <laughs> Clinton went to Epstein Island because he likes them young. <laughs> you still admire him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's so easy. Oh, man. It's so easy. The cringe didn't stop at the end of the fundraiser. Uh, Joe Biden makes everyone put on aviators. Got it? See? Because he's, he's hip. He's cool. The presidents of the United States. Oh, okay. Got it. Well, they're getting completely roasted for this. New York Post cover today. Uh, Trump, Trump declares slain. Cop's death must not be in vain. After attending wake, give and take. Look at that. Give and take. Three Democrat presidents shut down city for glitzy fundraiser. Trump attends wake for NY, NYPD hero. Uh, here's a photo of some of the, you know, Hollywood jack <laughs> The Bluth family here took a weird turn uh, getting a photo with these guys. They paid, they paid like hundreds of thousands of dollars. RIP ties also. Nobody wears a tie anymore. Look at this. Jason Bateman. I know it's Jason Bateman, but like, it really does look like the homeless guy who has a piss-stained bag of newspapers down at the bus stop. People are slobs. So awesome. An NYPD officer and father and husband gets gunned down, and the elites are raising millions to stay in power while not giving an F about it. Take a bow. Yeah, they're getting completely destroyed by this. Destroyed by even CNN, of all places. Like, can you believe this? Even CNN is able to notice. If, you, if you're CNN and you're able to notice, you got problems, okay? And these people have problems. Their own, their own party hates them. The rest of America hates them. This isn't going to save Joe Biden. This is going to prove exactly how out of touch, elitist, and extreme Joe Biden is. Um, and even CNN is calling you out. So suck on that bitch. The 2024 race, New York City is the backdrop to a sharp contrast in campaigns today. President Biden set to attend a sold out star studded fundraiser tonight with former presidents Obama and Clinton at Radio City Radio City Music Hall. The president and Obama just reached New York, the campaign calling it, quote, the most successful political fundraiser in American history, raising some $25 million. Meantime, Donald Trump will attend the wake of a fallen New York City police officer, Jonathan Diller, who was gunned down during a traffic stop three days ago. The Trump campaign says the former president has been invited to that gathering. Joining me now, CNN national correspondent Kristen Holmes and CNN senior political analyst Mark Preston. Great to see you both. Kristen, let's start first with you. Uh, the Trump campaign is slamming, no surprise, this fundraiser tonight. Yeah, they have gone on the complete attack here, saying that the entire reason, you know, that they are doing this is because they want the celebrity backing, uh, essentially drawing a contrast to what Donald Trump is doing, which, as you said, is going to the wake of this fallen NYPD officer. And I'm going to read the statement here of what the ca Trump campaign put out. President Trump will be honoring the life and legacy of Officer Diller and paying his respects to his family, friends, and the NYPD for their terrible loss. Meanwhile, the Three Stooges, Biden, Obama, and Clinton, will be at a glitzy fundraiser in the city with their elitist, out-of-touch celebrity benefactors. Now, a lot of that is just Trumpian language, but there is something to the fact that Donald Trump is often trying to appeal to working-class voters and he does appeal to working class voters and he has the ability to paint Democrats and particularly when it comes to Clinton, Obama and now Biden as elitist and out of touch. So while, yes, this statement is very Trumpy and they're trying to contrast these two things, there is something that works when Donald Trump does this. Right. It's a very stark contrast and one that has been successful for him in the past.